In today's video, I'm going to show you how to add a cut line for a Roland printer to a complex vector shape. So here we have an image of a cat that has many different colors, shapes, lines, strokes, all the things that you can't just easily add a cut line to him. So I'm going to show you kind of a neat trick to add bleed to this cat uh, with uh, a rolling cut line and also how to create just a rolling cut line with so that this cat would have like a white outline around him if you turned him into a sticker or a heat press or anything like that. So um, the first way that we're going to do it is you see how this black outline is just in many different pieces and we can't really just grab it and put an outline on it because that would put an outline on the whole shape. So to fix this, we're just going to grab the whole thing and I'm going to hold shift and drag him over. And at the same time, I'm going to hold alt. And you see how that turns my mouse into two mouses and that makes sure that I'm making an exact copy and dragging it over in the exact same horizontal position that he's in now. So then I'm going to let go of my mouse and my buttons. And then I'm going to go to my Pathfinder. And I'm going to click Unite. Some people also call this Weld. If you use CorelDRAW, there's a tool called Weld that does the same thing. So I'm just going to click on weld and now you can see that all these teeny tiny little shapes are in there and we do not want that. So I'm going to right click and ungroup. Then I'm going to right click, sorry. Then I'm going to click, right click and release compound path. And that will get rid of all those other little tiny things if I hold shift and select my back shape, which is what I do want. That will get rid of the back shape for now. So I can hit delete on my keyboard and get rid of all that crap that I don't want. Now I have this exact outline of the cat. And what I'm going to do is bring it to the front. So there's different ways of doing this. Um, but to simplify it so you because you can't see what my hands are doing i'm just going to go bring to front just to make sure and then i'm going to make sure that's still selected i'm going to hold shift and select the left earpiece because that is the leftmost object on this cat then i'm going to let go of everything i'm going to select the ear again by itself and then it highlights the ear and that means that when I go to press horizontal align left, it's going to move that shape so that it's exactly in line with that ear. So now I have this beige colored shape on top of the kitty to which I want to add a cut line. And my library is for some reason not working right now. So we're going to create a cut line manually. So I'm just going to switch that beige to be a stroke instead of um, a fill. I'm going to change that to zero, that to 100, that to zero, and that to zero. Now I have a 100% magenta stroke. To change this into a stroke that Roland will understand, I then will click on New Swatch. I'm going to name the swatch cut contour oops and you want it spelled exactly as seen with the two capital c's and the no spaces then you're going to switch this to spot color ensure that this remains at 100 and then leave this box checked and then when if you're like me and your library is not cooperating right now you won't see it, but most of the time when it is cooperating, you will see that color show up here. 
So then click OK. Oh, and I've already created this color, so I'm just going to go ahead and select it. That's it right there. That means that it's a spot color. And then you're going to change this to 0.25 in the stroke section. Now what we have is just that magenta hairline. So I'm going to put him back there. Then I'm going to go object path offset path. Now this already comes up at a quarter inch because that's what I had it set for on my last file. And that's how much bleed I want anyways. But for the sake of this tutorial, we're going to say maybe we only want an eighth of an inch outline, white outline around this kitty when we go to cut him. So then that makes that outline a little bit smaller, a little bit more manageable. Click OK. Now, because I'm a designer and I'm really picky, not a fan of this stuff at all. So I'm just going to take my A tool. Actually, I'm going to take my pen tool and I'm going to delete just a couple of these random weird nodes that don't need to be there. While we're zoomed in, you can see that this black outline on the kitty has the original cut line that we made, but now so does this. Anytime that you select, let's say, anything with a stroke on it that's magenta in this case, and then go object, path, offset path, it will create that path with the same stroke. But if you send this to the printer as is, it's going to cut this and it's going to cut this and we don't want that. So right now I'm actually going to just pull that off of the page for now, just so you can see that this is what would be your finished product. So if you sent that to the printer, all it would cut now was this. And of course you want to save this as your um, PDF or EPS. Now, let's say we didn't want that outline. So I'm just going to hit undo so I can send that original cut line back to where it was. I'm going to get rid of that out. Actually, I'm going to keep that outline for now, but I'm going to use the eyedropper tool. I'm going to zoom in and I'm just going to select this black color. Now you can see that our kitty has disappeared and that's because when I did that, it brought this to the front. So I'm just gonna move that particular shape to the back and I'm gonna do that like this. And now of course we only have one eighth inch of bleed on this, which isn't really standard. So technically you should go in and go object path and um, offset path to quarter inch. However, I often use a an eighth of an inch if I need to fit more things onto the page, and I've never had a problem. Um, now you can see that, for example, this is not the same color as the black. So if you really wanted to get picky about it, you could use your pen tool to just draw a shape that matches up to that shape. You're going to send it backwards until it's behind that color. And then you're going to use the eyedropper to color it that color. Now, when this cut line comes and cuts over here, you have that brown bleed there. And then you can just keep using your pen tool to draw those shapes all around the different colors that aren't black. That is very time consuming though, and you wanna make sure that if you are doing that, that you're charging your client for the time. But honestly, if this was me, I would just print it as is with the black outline because the Rollins are pretty accurate cutters. And even if in this case, even if the cutter was a little bit off, 
having that little black sliver or lack of a black sliver isn't going to matter for this. There are instances where it will matter, but not for this. So that is how you create a cut line and bleed for a complex vector shape. Thank you for watching.